Hey guys, Kevin here from Relax Learn Guitar, where I teach folks over 40 how to play the guitar so they can have some fun, relax, and be part of a great online community. This little lesson in some Tennessee Ford 16 tons. A great little tune and a fun one to play. And I want to thank everybody for their support and for subscribing before we get started here. And I do a Relax Learn Guitar membership where I work with folks um, and they request lessons from me. And this was a popular request from members there in the membership. And so I was happy to, to uh, do this one for them. So without further ado, excited to be here. Happy to do another lesson with you guys. It's a little Tennessee Ford, a little 16 tons. Um, hey, what's up, Bill? So I'm going to play a little bit and then as uh, usual, I'll walk you guys through it. So this is a little 16 tons. Some people say a man is made out of mud. A poor man's made out of muscle and blood. Muscle and blood and skin and bones. A mind that's weak and a back that's strong. You load 16 tons. What do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. Saying, Peter, don't you call me cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. If you see me coming better, step aside. A lot of men didn't, a lot of men died. One fist of iron, the other of steel. If the right one don't get you, then the left one will you load 16 tons what do you get another day older and deeper in debt saying peter don't you call me cause i can't go i owe my soul to the company store oops i'll spare you all four verses but it's a fun song i could definitely play all four verses because i love playing this song so i want to thank doug sims for their suggestion It's fun to play. And I always like tunes that are percussive like this. So you're really using the guitar in a very rhythm kind of way. So you're kind of drumming, but you're really kind of drumming too. So strumming and drumming. So if you haven't played power chords before, um, don't freak out, they're not horrible, but those are what all the chords for this song are based around. Um, and there's this cool little lick at the beginning. It's actually like a clarinet, I think, in the song. Um, when I play this song, I can totally hear, if you play along with the record, um, especially in that chorus, those like trumpets come in with a really cool sound. It's just very, very cool. What's up, JC? Glad you're here. So let's uh, work on the little riff at the beginning first. So to start this riff, you're actually going to, hey, what's up, Rich? Made it. That's good news. You're going to start this riff by using your ring finger. And you're going and going to be uh, barring a couple of strings. Uh, barring just means you're going to press down on both the strings. So just one at a time. So it starts here on the fourth string on the fourth fret. So you're gonna use your ring finger actually to, oh, I'm sorry, it starts on the third string, fourth fret. You're gonna bar the strings three and four on the fourth fret with your ring finger. And it just goes from, so once you've got that barred and pressed down, you're gonna pluck on the, or pick on the third string in the fourth string. The reason we're using our ring finger is because the next note is on the fourth string second fret. And this is a good way to have your index finger ready to roll. And the fourth note is an open fourth string. So you have four on the third string, four on the fourth string, two on the fourth string, open on the fourth string, and then there's a so it's da, na, na, na. And that last part is here on the sixth string second fret. You can use your middle finger and it 
open fifth string, then fifth string first fret, and you end with your middle finger on the fifth string second fret. So all together it's four, four, two, open, two, open, one, two. I'm just calling out the frets there, not the strings. And if you want to get fancy, you can really dig into that last note with that middle finger, fifth string, second fret, and do what's called a tremolo. Here's, here, here's playing uh, with just a straight note. You can do it that way, that's totally fine. Tremolo is just when you're wiggling your finger, <laughs> big fancy terms here, wiggle your finger up and down on the string, but you really gotta kinda press it into that fretboard to get it going. And that's a tremolo. So that's the, that's the lick. And you play that lick in between each, uh, after each chorus, going into each verse, and then obviously in the intro. And then he just stops. Some people say a man is made out of mud. Okay, we're gonna use our guitar a lot like a drum tonight. And you're just going to use it to stay in time. So the first sentence of the first verse, there's no guitar playing, it's the way I'm teaching it. Some people say a man is made out of mud. So you're basically just using your guitar. You're gonna mute the strings. So just hold your fingers over the strings up, it doesn't matter where. And you're just going to kind of strike the string 6 and 5 at least. Maybe 6, 5, and 4 to get that kind of snare drum sound. Some people say a man is made out of mud. And it's a down, down, down. The last one's an up, down. Some people say a man is made out of mud. And that's the first verse first sentence. Poor man's made out of muscle and blood. And those, this is where the power chords come in. So after that little clicking, muscle and blood. A poor man's made out of muscle and blood. So the cool thing about this song is there's four chords and you play them in the same order, the same exact way, all the way through every verse and every chorus. So you only got to learn kind of one little phrase here. And these are all power chords. So the first one is a B. To play a B power chord, you need your index finger on the fifth string second fret, your ring finger on the fourth string fourth fret, and your pinky on the third string fourth fret. And you're just playing these three strings. Don't gotta worry about, well obviously you're not gonna play the sixth string, open one. Don't worry about all these other strings down here. They can mute, they don't sound, it's fine. And the, uh, we'll do the chords first. So that's a B. And the pattern for the whole song is B, A, G, F sharp. Now, if you've noticed, I didn't change much going on. It's the same exact shape for every one of these chords. That's why power chords are pretty cool. So a B is on frets two here with the fifth string and frets four with the fourth and third string. To play the a, which is the next chord, we're going to move down to our sixth string. So B is on the fifth string root. This A power chord is on the sixth string, fifth fret, index finger. Same exact shape. Ring finger is going to be on the fifth string, seventh fret. Pinky is going to be on the fourth string, seventh fret. Same exact shape as that B. We're just moving it around the neck. That's an A power chord. The next chord is a G power chord. All you gotta do is move the exact same shape down the neck two frets. So here's the A, here's the G. It's also a really good way to learn the notes on the fretboard. So if you wanna check that lesson out in the membership, you can do that. And the last chord's an F sharp. Same exact shape. Don't gotta move the fingers much. You gotta go down one fret, one half step to one fret. So you have B, A, G, F sharp. And you could play it just that way if you wanted to. So you have the little intro. Some people
people say a man is made out of mud. A poor man's made out of muscle and blood. Muscle and blood and skin and bones. A mind that's weak and a back that's strong. Same exact pattern every time. So that's the chords. And now let's talk about the strum pattern for the chords. And again, same thing through the whole song. To learn the notes on the fretboard, it's very helpful so you can learn where to move those power chord shapes around to. So if you've not, let, not yet watched the lesson on learning the notes on the fretboard, you can check that out in the description below and you can also click the card up here and watch that lesson as well. So the pattern for those chords is a bass down on the B chord, bass down on the A chord, bass down on the G chord, bass down up on the F sharp. So B, A, G, F sharp, up down. B, A, G, F sharp, up down. And the bass note is just the, uh, for the B it's the fifth string. For this A, it's the sixth string. For the G, it's the sixth string. And for the F sharp, it's the sixth string. And that last, that F sharp comes in quicker than the others. So if you listen. Bass down, bass down, bass down, bass up down. Um, to change it up just a little bit um, after that lick. Some people say a man is made out of mud. We're using the clicks there. A poor man's made out of muscle and blood. Muscle and blood and skin and bones. A mind that's weak and a back that's strong. I like at the end of each verse, that last uh, line of each verse, of doing, I play that B chord and just again click out the mind that's weak and a back that's strong you load 16 tons what do you get another day older and deeper in debt st peter don't you call me cause i can't go i owe my soul to the company store and for the end of each chorus i just like to let that b chord ring out oh my soul to the company store just think it kind of breaks it up a little Hope you like that lesson. Click the like button if you do. And don't forget to subscribe here at the Relax Learn Guitar YouTube channel. And you can also check out my free three lesson song bundle. You can get that for free. There's a link in the description. It's three great acoustic tunes for you to learn using just five easy chords. It, doesn't, it includes the diagrams for those chords and the tablature and lyrics for those songs. So check that out for free. And if you've not yet, head over to relaxlearnguitar.com. You can also sign up for free lessons. I'll send them right to your inbox every week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys for the next lesson.